are back with more mini brands mystery boxes of tiny foods and today let's hope that we can get an ultra rare cuz I mean mini brands is a mystery box of miniature foods of known brands that we know and more specifically this mystery box has so many different kinds of foods we're talking hundreds of tiny mysteries and the one I'm really excited about is called frozen moments if we look at the box here, it does show that a frozen moment is basically a food that looks like it's exploding out of its container or out of its thing, kind of like floating in the air. And they are ultra rare, but I mean, I've spent hundreds of dollars on these things, so I'm hoping at some point I'll get it. And just to be clear, we did make our own frozen moment from the Miniverse Make It Mini Food Craft Mystery Box. So if you want to watch that, I will link that down below. I mean, we have so much fun making miniature foods and miniature crafts and just mystery boxes in general. So today we have five of these mini brands. Now don't be fooled, each one of these in Canada is about $14. Kitty editor, take out your little calculator and your cute little glasses. You look adorable. Get us calculated. 15 times five and then 15% tax on that. There's our total. This is how much I spent on miniature foods. Why? Why do I break my own heart? I do this to myself, but I do it for me and you. Very shaky. Let me know in the comments section below which one of these frozen moments is your favorite. I have to say for me, the ketchup one is really interesting. So I'm hoping to get that one, but honestly, I'll be happy with any of them. And in the previous mini brands unboxing, we did get one rare. Again, I'll leave the link for that down below. And while you're telling me which frozen moment is your favorite, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. We're a salty bunch here. Click on all notifications while you're there. I'd love to talk to you grains about something absolutely phenomenal, especially today, more than ever, we need to stretch our dollar as best as we can, which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Fetch. For those of you who don't know Fetch, it's basically an app that is so easy to use. What you can do is turn already made purchases, whether it's physical receipts or e-receipts, you scan those into the app and the app turns them into points and then you can turn those points into gift cards. And even if the receipts are two weeks old, they still work. So you can redeem those points for hundreds of amazing rewards like Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, GameStop, and even Walmart gift cards. Fetch is 100% free and so easy. But Jackie, why Fetch rewards? Let me give you four amazing reasons why. In a matter of seconds, you can snap receipts, redeem points, and spend all from the comfort of your phone. It is super easy. The process literally only takes a few seconds. You don't even have to worry where the receipt is from or even what's on it. It works from every single vendor. You can also click e-receipt functions to get rewarded for online shopping. And as mentioned before, there are hundreds of options to redeem your points, such as entertainment, like theater tickets, Dave & Buster's gift cards, and even Apple. And what I love is that they show you what points and how much they will earn you in the gift card. So there are no secrets. Yes, that even includes the Nintendo Shop and GameStop. And of course they have many things like charities and even things for your pets. And yes, you can earn points from anywhere. Any and all retail stores, all Amazon purchases, e-receipts, and restaurants. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below or the pinned comment or conveniently for you, also the QR code right here and use the code NERDYCRAFTER and get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Yes, you heard, 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Thank you to Fetch for sponsoring today's video. So I have no idea why, the, why Soul Shaker is red. Can you just turn green for us just for a little bit, please? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Definitely not a remote control. Mm -mm. We don't do that on this channel. It's all magic. So let's go ahead and just move things over here and bring one here. Voila. Now in the previous video, even though they say there are hundreds of different varieties, we got doubles. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we're still gonna get doubles instead of actually getting the hundreds of variety. <laughs> they lying, they lying, <laughs> believe them. All right, let's get you open. It's always such a pain in the butt to get the first. There you, oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> how, how hard is it to make these? Oh, gotcha, and? Well, that didn't work out. And then we have another layer over here. Ooh, that is nice. That actually sounds pretty good. Not bad. And remove this top. Time for plop. And we have, oh, that's new. What are you? Wet Ones Hand Sanitizer. This is 
contextually valid. I always carry one in my bag at all times. Oh, here's the back of the bottle. I love the fact that they have bottles. Look at the little hinge detail over here and the little nozzle over there. So I really like this. I like that they give us little bottles instead of just boxes. And then, I don't know why this knob is at the bottom. What are you? These are all new, by the way. We have peeps. Apparently these are pretty gross. They taste like sugar and colorant. I have yet to eat these. I love that there's foam on the inside. Ooh, what is, oh no! We saw this one! We have medicated for toothache and gums. So we have a toothpaste, right? That is toothpaste. I think so. So here you can see medicated toothache and relief. It says cream ready open tube. Here's what the box looks like. Definitely feel free to pause if you want to read these more closely. Some of these are impossible to read. You really gotta zoom in. And even for an item that's a box, it is a custom box. So I'm not too upset with that. And then there you go. This is the guide I wanted to have a chat with you about. Twizzlers, no way. Twizzlers are absolutely disgustingly good. They're not good for you. They don't taste like anything real. It just feels like chewing on plastic. So it's a fidget toy food, kind of. And here we have it in strawberry, which I think is probably the better of the flavors. And here's what it looks like in the back. I'm surprised there's no nutritional information though. Okay, but there's a kind of summary version right up top here. Really tiny. Number five. What is that? Is that tooth mouth mouthwash? Let me see. Yes. So we have another toothache aura gel mouthwash. At least we have the set here. Let's take a closer look. And it says analgetic astringent rinse. Then we have all these tiny details here. This one seems to be a mint one. Is that mouth numbing? Non-numbing, okay. And in the back you have more details. And what I needed to show you grains, look how big this catalog thing is, okay? It's double-sided. That's how much stuff is in there. And a couple of things that I would really love to see is this ATM pad machine and the safe. I would really love to see the safe. And low key, I want that can too. And as you can see in this guide, we can get a little bit of everything from household items to foods to a little bit of everything. And honestly, they look really cute. I'm really excited about this set. I just hope we actually get the amount of variety that they do show. As usual, when it comes to mini brands, they don't always make them match in terms of scale, not to each other and not to anything else. All right, mini brands, don't be my enemy. Hmm? I wanted to make sure that you open proper and... Okay. That one actually worked on the first try. And now will you stick to the actual ball? This one actually did good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. My favorite. Looks to be something yellow. Is that a Sunny D orange? No. Detergent. Yes. We get another Arm & Hammer product. They seem to really love these little Arm & Hammer items. So this here we have clean and simple laundry detergent. Here's what it looks like in the back. I love this tiny bottle. This is so good. Okay, we put this aside. Oh, we're getting big bottles. Oh, a Sunny D. Why is it red? Okay, this is not even an original. It's orange and strawberry flavored. Now let me explain to those of you who don't know Sunny D. It's a juice, but not just any juice. It is probably one of the most disgusting juices out there. It's so synthetic. You can feel the tickle of sugar in your throat and it just stays there. It's, it has memory of childhood, but it's gross. But it's pretty cool that we do get a Sunny D. Here's what it looks like on the side and in the back and the other side. Let's see the top. Yep, looks pretty good. Another juice. We're getting like liquids today. We have a juicy juice apple juice. We did get this one in the previous unboxing. It says no added sugar. I do love apple juice. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite kind of juice? I really do tend to like mango. Mango's pretty good. And peach and apricot. I like them thick, is what I'm trying to say. Here's the side with the nutritional information. Here's the other side and the other side. So the front and back look the same. Yeah, basically the same thing. And then the sides have all the information and all the text. Bottom is empty, top is empty. You carry for us. 
Oh, no! Again? Are you kidding me? Why do we keep getting the same one over and over? Legitimately, this one also showed up twice in the previous unboxing. This is garbage. I'm not pleased with this. Stop giving me the same thing. Why did this open like that? Let the shrimp open proper. What is that? Why are you hiding? A Hershey's Kisses Almonds. And it is squishy. And here's what the other side looks like. Mm -hmm. Here's what we got in the set. Next. And in case you didn't notice, we do get three small ones and two of the bigger compartments. They don't necessarily hide bigger things in the bigger compartments. Sometimes they do, but more often than not, nay. Let's get a rare. Did I just get a rare? What the heck? We got a gold one. Are you joking? Yep, we did get a rare. So we have a rare gold OxyClean tub over here. It's basically a helper to make things easier to clean up. Here's what it looks like. Here's the back for the instructions. Here's what it looks like. And the shiny top. What's that? That is my camera. And the bottom. Okay, sure. I didn't expect a rare, but okay, we got one. Which means we're likely not gonna get two rares in the same compartment thing. We get a double. We have the Oragel toothache water mouth wash thing. Oh, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> mouth wash. What are you? That looks like chocolate. Yes. Almond Joy chocolate bar. Very nice and squishy. And what does the back look like? Pretty plain for the back, but I do love the color and the gradients on the front. Is this another Arm & Hammer? No, what are you? Collagen. We have a 2000 MG Collagen Health by Habit. I guess this is a powder? Yeah. Not familiar with this brand. Just basically getting a supplement over here. Here's the nutritional facts and the information. In vain. Oh, that is big. We have Otter Pops Original Popsicles. I've never tried these popsicles before, but I've heard a lot about them. Here's what the side looks like with the nutritional information. And the other side with just the logo, which seems to be a funny looking bear. That's some intense mascara right there. But yeah, it looks pretty retro. And here's everything in this box. All right, we got one rare last time. Let's see if we can get more than just one in a full set of five. Mm -hmm. Avoid opening it from the corner. This is gonna dig right under your nail, trust me. Compartment number one, another detergent. Oh, this one is called Extra. I've actually bought this one before. They're usually on sale often. I like me a good bargain. And this one is Mountain Rain. I love how scents can be concepts. Rain will smell different depending on where you are. And I love this. Are the boxes the same as the previous one? And the answer is yes. Actually, they're different sizes. Interesting. Okay, and here's what the back looks like. What are you doing, collagen? Where are you going? Collagen wants to be the center of attention. You're gonna go over there. Oh, crackers. I love cheese crackers. This one is the original Cheez-It crackers. Here's what the side looks like. Nutritional information. And let's see the other side, just the graphics and the back. I love the back details because it really does look like miniature groceries. So I ain't complaining. <gasps> oh my God. I've been wanting this one. Oh my God. We actually got the soda can. I'm happy now. Now to be very fair, I've actually never heard of this brand before, so I'm not familiar with it. I don't even know if it's any good. All I know is I actually wanted a soda can. It is pretty huge though. Look at the detail on top, pretty neat, and the bottom. But if we take a um, laundry detergent and compare it side by side, it is definitely not to scale. So this is like family edition can drink. If any of you have had this drink before, let me know if it's any good. Oh, little baggy, and you are drumstick squashies. What the heck is this? 
I have no idea what these are. Raspberry milk flavor. I guess it's a candy, I'm guessing clearly, or a gummy. Here's the information in the back, but I've never tried this before. And the inside is indeed a piece of foam. It is pretty cute. I do like the packaging though. Come on, Rare. Why are you not opening? Wow. Are you joking? <laughs> are you kidding? Is that all I needed to do? Did I just need to scream? I didn't really scream. Did I just need to yell, come on, Rare, for us to get a Rare? Is this a, let me just double check before I get ahead of myself. <laughs> so you can see here, we did get this one in a previous unboxing and now we just got this one. We got two Rares in a set. Okay, so we have the Vimto Real Fruit Golden Rare Mini Brands. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. And this is here what we got. Will we break another record and get another rare? I don't know, but let's just scream, get a rare. And Q, come on, rare. No, we get sun-made organic raisins. These were really popular giving out during Halloween. Again, don't do that. I hated raisins because of that. Here's what the front and the back look like. And here's the side, the top, really cool emblem, and the bottom. I love this box. Let's go rare. We have Teddy Grahams. I haven't had Teddy Grahams in years, if not decades. I don't remember if they're any good. This one is chocolate chip. I love the drawing on this. Here's the side with the nutritional information. The back with a cute little puzzle and activity. Oh, they even have, I, what's it called? Informa- they have an edu education. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. And the side. Here's what the top and bottom look like. Ultra rare. No, we have chocolate, a Hershey's baggie of chocolate and it is a foam it says giant what's the back look like okay pretty plain we have two more chances to try and get a frozen moment ultra rare and no what are you interesting we have makeup revlon and it says here that it is a blush sultry sultry shiana let's see what the back looks like okay basically like a, an actual blush and you have little hinges here to open does it open the answer is no nay but i will make a short opening some of these just to see what's on the inside because i'm pretty curious this is our last chance please give us an ultra rare oh that is hard to open oh no <laughs> we have a flavor ice flavor flavor ice flavors and this is a set of popsicles. Here's what the top looks like. And the other side, it says six fruity flavors. We have lime, orange, berry punch, strawberry, tropical punch, and grape. A hundred ice pops, that is huge. Here's what the side looks like. And let's see the other side. Yep. Yeah, it looks like a typical ice cream box. And here's what we got inside. I have to say, even though we didn't get an ultra rare, I was pretty surprised that we did get two golds. And I did get the can that I wanted. So overall, not a bad haul. If you want to watch the previous unboxing, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch me make actual miniature foods with the Miniverse, make sure you check down here. Until then, I was Two Grains in the next video.